Hello and welcome to Zen AF Podcast. We are here again for the 28th time, which is absolutely fantabulous. Tabulous. You can find us at zenafpod.com. That is our official website. There's merch. We got a mug, ladies and gentlemen. We've got a mug and it's brilliant and beautiful. And it's got Wayne and my uh, caricatures of our faces uh, drinking some mugs of coffee and that mug. It's our logo, Alex. It's our logo. I was going to get to that, Wayne. Um, so to clear up something, I just want to clear this up right off the bat. So the Zen AF podcast logo, right, with our faces on it and holding the coffee with the Zen AF podcast with Mindfulish underneath, that is our podcast merch. I've been getting questions about Good Morning Assholes and the Mindfulish, just the Mindfulish. To clear it up, that is Wayne's merch. So he started Good Morning Assholes on TikTok a long time ago, and the Mindfulish thing is his. The Zen AF part of it, like the hats and stuff that I used to sell, which I'm going to get back to selling, that was my thing that I started a while ago. But you put it all together, ladies and gentlemen, and it's ours. It sounds like we're separated, but we're really not. That you don't build an empire no. by like putting all your eggs in one basket. Rest assured, when you know my merch hits three billion in net uh, profit, mm -hmm. and your merch hits um, three point two nine billion in mm -hmm. net profit, we'll still live in the same compound. Yes. Of course. You know, and we'll share yachts. It's called a honey pot. It's called a honey pot. It's called a honey pot. Just like in the 70s with the fishbowl, you dropped your keys and then you banged your neighbor. Um, whoa, this is whoa. much, much I, like that. I'm not sure what you just said. You sounded like Alex Scooby when you said that, by the way, because it kind of just fell Fish. out of your mouth. Yeah. Fishbowl <laughs> parties. Wait, have you ever been to a lemon party? No. <laughs> I don't know what a lemon party is. I'm going to send you a video. But it's, it sounds like if you get it in your eye, it'll burn. <laughs> Listen to me. Everyone that's listening to this podcast, please Google lemon party and watch the video. <laughs> What's a lemon Wait, party? Lemon party, basically, the, the lemon party I've come to know is when a group of old, uh, you know, men who like men, they get together nude and they just uh, trade off partners and they laugh and they have fun and. Older, but you have to be seventies, eighties. Oh, like it's a, it's a, it's a prestige. Like there's a jacket involved. Like well, yeah, you, you wear a like jacket, that. but nothing else. Yeah, and you're, you know, your nuts wow. are down to your knees because you know you're and seventy. You just, 80. You're just randomly fellaging yeah. the shit out of people. Well, you just throw your rope wherever you want it to land. You know, and just people boop, 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 <laughs> like a ping pong. It's a lemon party, ladies and gentlemen. Why did they? <laughs> why did why? <laughs> Why did the why did they call it a lemon party? I've been asking that question for so fucking long, but no one seems to have the answer. It's just a lemon party. I don't know. <laughs> like I could just picture them all sitting around a big table, like in a conference yeah. room, but a hotel one, like at a Holiday Inn. They rented out a Holiday Inn. Conference oh, five star, room. yeah, yeah, five, three three and a half star, and they're sitting around this yeah. table, and and they Bill Bill pours Walter a water. He kind of leans over, gives him a wink, and be like, "How about you want a slice of lemon?" And he just looks at him, and he goes, oh. "This, these are lemon parties. We didn't even need to rent this conference room space. <laughs> we just needed, yeah. I would like some lemon, and then I'd like your your, I'd like your I'd like your unit up in my stuff. I'd like your baby batter in my eyes." You know? I'd like to be I'd like to be your safety <laughs> deposit box. I'd like to be your personal ham wallet. I I would like to I would like to smuggle you in to myself to the place that, to the place. <laughs> oh fuck me, man. This is too good. We're already uh, starting off hot as fuck. I know. And you I know? came into this because we recently had a phone conversation. Mm -hmm. Alex and I have been speaking less lately. Um, we still speak very often, but Alex and I have been speaking less. And well. my anxiety is defined as um, when people speak to me less, 
I fucked up. I did something wrong. <laughs> and it just goes there for a second. It doesn't matter that, you know, somebody can have a cold or the flu or lives in another country and has a completely different life um, than the person. But when I, I automatically, I'm like, oh, shit, I did something. What did I do? What did What'd I do? do? And really, no, I did nothing. I did nothing. The moral no. of the story is I did nothing. Um, but no. Alex... I'm going to put you on a pedestal right now because I think you need oh, to geez. hear it. Okay. All right. This guy has kept up with his fitness routine because it keeps him grounded. This mm -hmm. guy has been meditating. Mm -hmm. This guy has been eating right. Yep. This guy has been working his ass off trying to memorize 93 pages of dialogue. Oh, yeah. He's ha he's probably three quarters of the way memorized in this play that opens up next uh, half, next half. month or April April first April first April first mm -hmm. um, where he's gonna go and the 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 curtains are gonna open mm -hmm. and how he's gonna be like just kidding I just threw up in my mouth a little <laughs> best April Fool's joke ever oh, Ashton fuck. Kutcher comes out you've been punked twelve you know. But I think, you know, I think, and, and again, so just to say this, I'm down almost 10 pounds of uh, body you fat. You look great. Thank you. You look great, I appreciate man. that. But here, and so, so my doctor can eat a dick with the obese thing. But I will say this. I will say this. I really love our website. I love it. I'll, I'll just look at it just to look at it. Like I go on just to go, oh, I love the website. Like I just like being there. I don't even, I'm not going to purchase anything because, you know, I'm a fucking part of the podcast. Why would I do that? But I do like to go look at it and click the buttons. I like to click them. You like the buttons. I, do. I we when we when we redesigned this website when Alex and I went rogue and 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 just went off on our own. Yep. Um we uh we said let's just get something up there and then let's let's put a subscribe button and yep. that is it. Yep. And it served its purpose. Yes. But then we got our new logo made oh and that boy. changed. Everything. I sent, I, he was at rehearsal and I send him <laughs> the picture of the logo oh, and God. he, it, next thing you know, he's like, take a look at our website. I just spent four <laughs> hours redesigning it. And now it's like, but I gotta oh, be honest man. here. I want, let's be transparent. Okay. I'm going to be transparent. I did go to a lot of different podcast websites, including the top dogs, right? And even even websites that just weren't, maybe they'd only got like 20 downloads a fucking episode. But I wanted to just see what everyone was doing. And I kind of stole bits and pieces from here and there that I thought that you would like and I would like. And that's kind of what it is now. So it's just kind of a hodgepodge of uh, it's a ho stuff. It's a hodgepodge. What the, f what is a, it's an old saying from back in the but 1980s. What does it mean? It means what does it mean? It means it's a bunch of ideas put together to make a, a better idea, like a mishmash. Yeah, like a okay. Mishmash. A hodgepodge. Uh -huh. A hodgepodge is uh -huh. a mishmash. A hodgepodge is a mishmash, Wayne. So if you're if you if you're if you're stuck and you're confused and you're thinking, well, am I in a conundrum, a hodgepodge, or a mishmash? You can put them all together. Just don't speculate. Please don't speculate. I got to Google okay. that word. What does that mean? Speculate. Speculate means, oh shit, I don't even know. But I know that I used it in the right context. But I don't know. I don't know exactly. Like I forgot. Because um, I smoke way too much cannabis. Uh, I do too now. Thank you for letting that rub off on me. I smoke it every mm -hmm. single day when I get home. Thank you. Yeah, I, I just smoke it. Yeah. When I'm, when I'm not at work, yeah. No, I'm at home in the evenings. So, so I've, we can, we can say, right. We can actually go here and say that Wayne did not quit cannabis. I still have not quit smoking cigarettes and together we are just, we're healthy AF. Yeah. I mean, together, if you combined Alex and I, um, we, we would be of sound mind mm -hmm. to ish. have emphysema together. Yes. Ish. Ish. <laughs> I'm kind of emphysema ish. <laughs> I'm emphasizing. <laughs> I'm hacky. I'm hacky. Oh my god! Oh. Anything Zen going on right now? Like Zen? No, can no. Canada's fucked. Um, mm -hmm. Canada's fucked. Uh, I had to cancel my trip to Los Angeles because yes. flying there is all messed up. However, it looks like I might be able to swing a all-inclusive vacation. That's okay. Zen. 
That is 10. I just that go and do nothing on a beach for five days in March. That would be so good, man. Oh, my mm-hmm. God. Mm-hmm. Now, I tell you, uh, so so Zen for me, I think, you know, it's funny. I was thinking about this this morning. So this podcast that we have, Zen AF Podcast, Mindful-ish, um, it kind of is. We bring to you, ladies and gentlemen, the most thrilling conversations trying to be as thoughtful and mindful as possible, which usually just turns into mindful-ish because we will throw out some slang words, maybe some curse words. And I'm not sure that like Sadhguru does that. Like I'm not sure that he gets on or or Deepak Chopra gets on and says, listen, you're going to fucking breathe through your nose. You're going to fucking breathe out through your nose. You're going to fucking, you're going to observe your fucking breath. I don't think they do that. We do. So we can't be mindful kind of mindful-ish. And that's, that's, that's interesting, man. I think we got something good here. Hello? Hi. 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 (laughs) I fucked up. What? I fucked up, Alex. What did you fuck up? Royally fucked up. What do you mean? Um, I'm recording. Well, I'm recording too. It has nothing to do with the podcast. However, this, this, this pen is CBD. Oh, no, you just smoked it now? No, I've been smoking my CBD just because I want to, I just want to, I just, because it helps me stay calm because my anxiety has been really bad lately. Mm-hmm. Um, and this literally just helps me focus and dial, 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 dial in. Whoa, repeat. Go ahead. Yeah. Um, do you well, want to hear the problem? Yeah, people? I do. Yeah. Right beside it was this pen that oh, I forgot to take out God. of my pocket. Damn it. And, and it's Blue Dream. And it gets you, it gets you stoned. And I've been smoking that for the last 15 minutes and it just hit me. And now I can't (laughs) feel my legs. Well, here's the thing, man. I'm pretty bummed because I was going to do this with you, but I can't because as soon as we get done recording, I have to go to the theater and I can't do that. Damn it, Wayne. I feel you. Yeah, you do. I feel, (laughs) no. Um, So wait, now you're high. Oh, yeah. It is 9.30 yeah. in the morning. Your time. Thank oh, God right. it's the afternoon where I live. Oh, my <laughs> God. Oh, my God. Well, now we're going to get deep, ladies and gentlemen. Now we're going to go oh, deep. Yeah. We're deep. We're, we, are, we, are, we are three fingers deep in my brain. Three fingers? What? Wayne, 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 Wayne. Don't say my, no, don't. You can't, no, it's not like that. It's not like that. This isn't high school where you, who's tripping me out. I smoke so much cannabis. You're not tripping me out. Dude, you are so tripped out right now. I'm fucking, I'm getting you bad right now. I, you're not. The only thing getting me bad is my, I'm going to want a Big Mac at some point. God damn it, Wayne. Make some salmon. I don't like, I had a dream. Okay. I had a dream. I had a dream. I had a dream that somebody put canned salmon in my in my dinner, and I was livid, but I couldn't be mad at them canned because it would have let them down. What is canned yeah. salmon? It's like canned tuna, but salmon. Ew. Right. Oh no! You got to buy the wild Alaskan. Fucking put that shit in your oven. Oh, the man. sockeye. Uh-huh. Hey, is that sockeye salmon? Hey. Who the? Why do you guys like Wayne, fish? Wayne, 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 Wayne. Yeah. <laughs> Hannah, 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 Hannah. Here Mindfully we go. Shish, 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 shish. Episode 28 <laughs> is brought to you by Alex's incessant ability to try to trip Wayne out for the next one hour. Because he accidentally smoked the wrong strain. <laughs> I feel like I'm high right now. Like I have contact high from your high. Are you still smoking it? I'm countering it with the CBD now. It does that even work scientifically? Science? Hello? Hi. Ladies and gentlemen, Wayne passed away. I'm stoned <laughs> and I didn't mean to be. This might be the best episode ever, ladies and gentlemen. This episode is just going to be repeatedly 43 to 49 minutes of me saying I am stoned <laughs> and I apologize for my immaturity. I. I didn't. Oh. I was looking for that other pen, though, and I'm glad I found it. <laughs> <clears throat> what just happened? No, I'm not that kind of stoned, Alex. All right, let's talk about something fun 
that we can include your brainstem in. Did you watch the Super Bowl? I don't I, give a fuck. I, I don't. Care. I didn't. Um, I didn't. Moving I on. I, I don't. No. No, I did not. But LA won, so good. Congrats. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, this is a rough episode. No, it's brilliant. Are you kidding me? We're talking about all the things right now. We're talking about I am everything. Struggling. Don't just hey, look, just be inside yourself and second guess everything you say and then lead it with your ego. That's what we teach. Right? Wayne, it's okay, buddy. You're gonna I don't be, feel good. You're going to be okay. Just breathe. Yeah, but I was smoking the THC one like it was the CBD one. That's the problem. So it's not, I'm not even, I'm just climbing up the roller coaster right now. So, <laughs> so here's something wild, Wayne. The folks mm. that listen to us in Amsterdam are going to especially love this episode. And the people in Canada. It's legal all throughout Canada, man. Oh, this is why I want to tell you something about. Um, so uh, they lifted all mask mandates in the state of California. I did want to tell oh, you Oh, congratulations. Yeah. I keep getting asked if we're going to ever interview people. And I said, well, what do you mean? We kind of interview ourselves. And then yeah. they said, no, I, I, we mean other people. I said, well, who would you want to hear speak other than us? Mm -hmm. And their answer was, good point. <laughs> Well, see, this is what I'm saying. Hey, look, we struggle, just so everyone knows, we do think about that a lot, like interviewing other people. But, you know, that's yeah. a whole rabbit hole. Like, do you want to hear uh, other people in the entertainment industry, be it, uh, you know, anyone with a platform? Or do you want just, you know, Joe Schmo that works at fucking Taco Fantina down on the corner of fucking Hollywood and Vine, who on, the, on his off shifts, like fucking blows dudes for a fucking nickel and a pack of gum? Like, I don't know who you want to listen to other than us. You know what I mean? Mindful-ish. Mindful-ish. I feel like if we just say that word after every rant, <laughs> people start that like, works. oh my God, did you guys did you guys do the Zen AF podcast meditation? They just rant for 30 seconds and at the end they say mindful-ish and I feel so <laughs> much better. I just feel like, I feel like uh, a whole new world. Uh -huh. That's where we'll be. That's where we will be. Uh. I don't know. Well, now that Wayne uh, is uh, three sheets to the wind, baked and oh God. scatterbrained, um, I am like a like a like a garlic bread that just got overdone in the oven. Fuck, I want garlic bread so bad. <laughs> okay, I so had a salad <laughs> last night for supper. Oh, good. What was on it? Mm -hmm. Vegetables. Good, 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 good. What kind of dressing? Poppy seed. Oh, good. Good, good, good. Mm -hmm. Then I ate three cookies and said, fuck you, salad. Bad Wayne. All the bad, salad. bad Wayne. Bad Wayne. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so <clears throat> here's what I bring for lunch every day to rehearsal. Ready? Tuna. Almonds. And an apple. That's what I bring every day for lunch. That's my lunch. Tuna, almonds, and an apple. That's what I eat for lunch. And I for feel like I have egg whites with spinach. And then at dinner time, I have a big piece of salmon right out, right out of the oven. Hot, fresh, right out of the oven with a little uh, garlic, olive oil, salt and pepper. Boom. Amazing. You know? Alex. Yeah. Thank you. You're thank you for no thank you seriously thank you for for telling me what you eat th three times a day because <laughs> the other day no i'm serious because mm -hmm. i'm looking for it like that's a good baseline um mm -hmm. however i i eat uh a sugar-free granola mm, that's not bad with almond milk for breakfast great and then i usually um skip lunch because i don't eat on a regular schedule. Then I go straight into dinner and it's been a healthy dinner lately mm -hmm. as of late. And by as of late, I mean, it was going well for a couple days. And yeah. then the other day I, um, I went, I took, I took Kelly and I, Kelly and I went out for lunch mm -hmm. and we went to this, this, I sent you a picture of the burger yes. with the big G oh in the bun. Oh my God. 
I enjoyed that burger and the fries. And then for dinner, I had a double quarter pounder with cheese and a large fries and a Coke Zero because that that'll keep you thin made all the difference in the world. So now let me. Okay, so here's the thing. Okay, mm-hmm. so now I know that you're a pot smoker, and I know what the munchies can do because I get them too. So on a right. daily basis, you know, I smoke a joint, say like six o'clock at night, seven o'clock at night, somewhere oh, in there. That would have been a normal time. And with and within and within about an hour, I'm literally going, "Oh my god, cheesesteak! Oh my god, it's that sounds so good!" And I have to fucking battle myself, and this is what I do: I get a banana. And I smear some peanut butter on it, all natural peanut butter. And that is just going to have to do. Because if I go down the rabbit hole of Grubhub and I start ordering pizzas and all the stuff that I want, I'm fucked. I'm just fucked. No, I know you're I, fucked. Yeah, you're I'm fucked. fucked. Yeah. You're not getting, and you don't, and then, and then, yeah, that's happened to me a lot. I, <laughs> I. You Wendy's. You're like a big Wendy's guy. Remember? No, I'm, I'm not even. Yeah, Wendy's was for a while, but not yeah. lately. Lately, it's whatever I can find in my cupboards. And if it doesn't make sense, <laughs> it will make sense after I put it together. <laughs> I got to the point where I was making one time. I was making eggle, blueberry eggle waffle, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Ooh, that, why does that sound good, though? That sounds good. Oh, because it's fucking good. And it wasn't the all-natural peanut butter. It okay. was the peanut butter, Skippy or whatever or it is. I don't. People have, people have their, like, peanut butter. I'm not a peanut butter guy, mm-hmm. believe it or not. Oh, wow. Um, yeah. I like I know. it. I it's, like it. It's, cr- it's got that, you know, I like it crunchy. Mine's I don't are like blown. the smooth. Yeah, mine's are blown. You can't even send kids to school. I know. peanut butter anymore. That wasn't like case. that with us. That wasn't like that when we no, were in Oh, that's how you found out. Like a kid can that's be around you... a peanut, not even taste it, and fucking like die, I guess. Yeah. What's next? You're not going to be able to do cocaine next to me because I don't like it? Yeah. Like if I want to do blow next to your kid, why the fuck? Do you know what I mean? Just don't do blow, yeah. kid. Yeah. Yeah. It's, if I want to smoke yeah. a cigarette and blow it in your kid's face, what's wrong with that? I don't nothing. She'd she'd punch you out. Like she would yeah, she would like she would climb up you and just grab <laughs> on it. <laughs> but if I'm doing it around an infant that doesn't have their legs yet, you know, to they yeah. can't use them yet. They got nothing they to say. They can't even about walk it. anyways. They don't no. even know if they're gonna yeah. They don't even know if they're gonna be smokers yet. They can't even know? catch me because they can't fucking walk. Hey, listen, your infant <laughs> weak as fuck. You know yeah. <laughs> This is a mindfulish conversation, ladies and gentlemen, this and it may so not mindfulish. seem like that to you right now, but if you think about it later in hindsight, you'll think back and go, that was one of the deepest conversations I've ever heard. Well, the good news is also is that we have loyal listeners that will listen to this and then they'll be like, they'll look over and they'll they'll say, oh shit, I'm 25 minutes into this and I haven't learned anything yet. I might as well keep going. Do you know, someone left... Someone left a comment in one of our, you know, review sections on one of the websites, and it said, this is the best show about nothing I've ever heard. Now, I love that, because not only is our show about nothing, but it is about everything, right? All of the things. It's all of the things. Now, we're not, we're not specific. We're not like, you know, a news show. Of course not. We're not a sports show. Of course not. We're not, you know, just zen as fuck, probably the two biggest gurus you, you people ever listen to. We are all of it and everything all the time. I remember when I was teaching Deepak Chopra the ways. Oh, tell and, him about uh, that. I want to hear that again. Yeah. So it was a it was a starry September night. Starry, and I get this phone night. call from from Deep. Um, that's oh, what I call the old him. Deep. Yeah. And uh, yeah, Deep. He's like, hey, Wayne, mm. um, listen been wondering how i can be more mindful and i'm like well do i have something for you yes no i'm just kidding i don't even know him i meditate to him often but what i will tell you did you say meditate what I or will masturbate meditate my, my earphones went ma- out for a second oh, yeah okay. no i don't masturbate i don't masturbate to anybody anymore well the, that is that an age thing or is that the drugs i i think i'm on my way out 
Of, I think I'm on my way back out out of the of the of the of the hard to come to fruition point. So that's of, still happening. Yeah, but like, like well, is it or do I just have a lot of stamina? I just no, you. no, because no, you should be I, definitely. It's probably just you a be bunch cream of pieing at some point. Mm, Wait, that's I said what, that wrong. That's I what, said that wrong. Shit. Shit. Take it back. Take it back. Quick. Quick. <laughs> I can't. Take it back. All you I have to can't. do is say I take it back. I take it back. Just say I take it back. No look see. What? No, no look see. Mm-hmm. So purple okay, punch so, buggy. So Fuck, you're I still so you're still going through that, and but now how do you feel being ish. on ish? How do you feel? I mean, so the 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 antidepressants have kicked in and you're feeling better about I mean, is it you said earlier in the podcast that you were still you know you're having a little anxiety lately more. It, so do you think that they're not helping with that? I think that where I'm at with my medication is that I am medicating and that is all I am doing. I think that we are so freaking tired as 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 people now that it is hard to get motivated to do anything. Mm-hmm. And I'm trying to give myself grace. I'm trying to stay on top of things. But man, I am struggling, Alex. I am yeah. Fucking struggling. And all jokes aside, and I'll throw this out there because we do like to talk about this stuff. Man, I don't feel like my medication is doing anything. I get into this thing where I work out and I feel good, but then I can't I can't talk myself into working out. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm just in this. I'm in this fucking, I don't know what you call it. Like just this, this. I can't get out of my own head, but I'm not doing too bad. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm still happy, but I'm anxious. And I think a lot of it is because I smoke too much pot. I think um, it's because I don't exercise. It's because I'm not meditating. I need routine and I'm hoping it comes soon. Yeah. And, and, and I'm just giving myself a little bit of grace. Uh, and, yeah. and I'm hoping that I get over this. You know, well, hey, see. look, man, I, I want to, you know, say, and all jokes aside, some people, right, and I know a lot of them, they're just not into, you know, working out and all that stuff. And 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 if you you were at one point, and maybe you're just not, any, it just fucking the way it is. Now, as far as the anxious stuff goes, I mean, you know, I know we both know all too well about anxiety and being anxious. Um, do you think the pot? helps that or hinders it i think it did help it Uh at one point but now it's just kind of turned habitual and when i'm at home not doing anything and 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 i'll say this canada is about we're so close to dropping every mandate because i'm not a big fan of the masks Mm -hmm. so i don't go out a lot because of the masks not because i don't um i i i struggle where I just fucking don't like them. I have no reason not to. I have no medical, uh, but I just don't like them. And so I tend to, I have 10, I tend to be more recluse um, right now. Plus it's winter. Mm -hmm. Like it's, it's, it's tis the season. However, um, when I went back to my doctor a year or about six months ago and said, can you up my ADHD dose? He said, no, just go work out. I don't, Mm need to work out for fit like to 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 lose weight or to gain muscle mass i can mm-hmm. care less about that mm-hmm. i need to work out because it is the only i need to i need to to move my brain man i need to move my brain well you know hey look i mean you could do that by just walking for a half hour like you can go out and walk for a half hour and that is a it's a great it's like swimming like walking and swimming are kind of in the same ish not completely the same but you know, swimming is all muscles, all your entire body. Walking is specifically, you know, heart, muscle, legs, and you know. So, but you could do that just by walking. I mean, you you could literally go step out your front door with a comfort comfortable pair of fucking sneakers on and just go for a half hour. Walk two miles, get your hands. You know, when your hands get kind of pumped up and they you know hot, and then just as long as you feel that kind of sweat and that kind of uh, you know your heart's going a little bit, man, that's that's great exercise right there. You know? it, it's minus 23 degrees Celsius. Yeah, that's right the now. thing. See, so yeah, because I mm-hmm. keep forgetting that it's, it's cold mm-hmm. as AF there. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. and, and I'd like to say this the only reason 
why I still work out like I do is because I really, I am addicted to it. And there's something in my brain because I've been doing it for over 30 years. There's something in my brain that if I don't do it, I get really depressed, really depressed. I mean, it's not even a joke. And I think that I think that is I think that is what is up with me. I believe that this is the last thing I need to do to to kind of get to that place where um, I will be completely thriving. I need to work out and I need to get into that routine. However, it is so difficult. I talk to you about it right now. I mean, it is early afternoon here. I have all day ahead of me, a beautiful gym in my garage, Mm -hmm. and I have all the intentions to go do it. I just, I don't do it. And, and and you know what? I can make all the excuses in the world, um, but I need to do something. So I'm hoping it comes soon. Uh, uh, there's the life is good. People are good. My friends are great. My family's everything's good. I'm just I just need to move a little bit more, man. That's all. Yeah. You know, it's funny. I made a, I made a post the other day. I put some, I don't post a lot on Instagram on my personal so- account. I don't know if I should do more. Or not. I, I just, I don't know why. I'm just, but anyway, I put a post up and it was a picture of me in uh, the front bedroom, which is kind of like a pseudo office, I guess you'd call it. Um, and that's where I work out now. And I, the post I wrote, I wrote, it's not about the space, it's about the willpower. Now, some people may look at me like, oh, look at this fucking douchebag. But the truth is, that's part of my life, and that's a fact. For my brain, it is not about going to a gym or, or uh, you know, whatever room I'm in. It's like, as long as my body can fit in that room from, you know, head to toe on the floor, I can do a push-up. As long as I can, if the ceiling's higher than six foot five, I can stand up and do curls with my dumbbells or do squats. Do you know what I mean? So it's kind of like a prison mentality because that's a lot, you know, a lot of these fucking guys in prison. I was just thinking the same thing. I was like, wow, he'd do really well in a six by eight. But this is what, yeah. So it's kind of funny though, but it's kind of that mentality where it doesn't matter where you are. You could fucking do it. A hotel room, you know, a large bathroom, uh, anywhere. So anyway, that's all. But, you know, it's just Yeah, I, I, hey, I agree with you, man. It's, it's not about, that it's for me it's this little part of my brain that 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 just i can't talk myself into it and when i do oh my god i feel wonderful i started riding my peloton again and i was doing 45 minute um low impact like you're just moving you're not hard it's not hardcore you're not be bopping you know, no, it's not a mish. <laughs> it's not a mishmash of of, of high intensity. Yeah, it's not a hodgepodge of high intensity. Yeah, it's just a low, and I love it. I just the thought of yeah. it's great. Hey, but is it going to happen? Meh. Well, if it does, it does. If it doesn't, it doesn't. You can't beat yourself up, like you said. You're going to give yourself some grace. We all should. And I'm the same way. Hey, look, man, I'm the same way with fucking cigarettes. Like, I want to quit smoking. That's I do. I really do. So I'm trying to right now, like. My normal cigarette intake with a cup of coffee in the morning is probably like three smokes, just with my cup of coffee in the morning. I'm the last two days I've been having one. Make sure I only have one. Then I go out, I go inside, I do my exercise, whatever I'm going to do. And then I'll go, okay, I just have breakfast. I'll have one. So I'm trying to get it down, cut down, and then be done with it. I I am. I am. So that's my, that's my cross to bear right now. Habits are hard, man. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Ha- good habits are hard to get because bad habits um help us band-aid, you know. Oh, yeah. Um um a bunch of stuff, but yeah, that's that's crazy. So why do you think hey, the price I just- of food, I'm sorry, uh why do you think the price of food is the way it is? You can go to McDonald's, you can go to Burger King, Taco Bell, you can eat for under 5 bucks. You go to the grocery store, you look at the price of fruits and vegetables and everything else, you can't get a bunch of fruit and vegetables for f- under 5 bucks. You just can't. So, well, yeah, and, you know, I mean, salmon, like we were just talking about, it's like 12 bucks for a little fucking piece of salmon. It's like, so yeah. So I get why most of our, my country is obese. They are, they're, they're, uh, you know, it's just, it, it's just the way it's set up, man. It's like, it's like, you know, we've talked about this before. I think, I think we're kind of set up to fail in a way. And the only ones who don't I, have, uh, can think outside the box and go, no, you know, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do my thing. I, 
you know. I think we don't realize our potential as human beings. I think that we are so stuck in in a societal norm that that to be completely honest with you doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever. And and I'm guilty of that societal norm. I'm guilty of being caught up in my head for, you know, a majority of my life, but w- because I look at things differently and I look at you know, choice and change differently than, than, than I used to. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I feel like a lot of it is because we were told we couldn't do things or we were told that it's not possible because you're this or that we've always been reminded of the things we're not capable of, but yet we, we could, we do 90% of the, if that makes any sense, I'm kind of like, I'm, I, I just think that, you know, choice at the end of the day when you strip all of the fluff and all of the bullshit away you, it, it's a choice is a pretty simple thing to make because 90% of the time when we make that choice to change and 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 when we make that choice to work out we have been or to eat better or to quit smoking or to drink less or smoke whatever it is yeah we have been to that place it's kind of like it, it the standard narrative is kind of, you know, all you check in every month. Oh, I need to quit this. I'm going to quit this. Mm-hmm. And we all do that. And then finally, we just say, fuck it. And we make that choice and we change. We never go back. Then we turn into the to the douchebag that that talks about it all the time. Like, yeah. Well, here's something interesting about what you're saying and how you just finish that off. I don't want to be the guy who, you know, quits cigarettes and becomes a raging cocksucker you know what i mean just a dick Mm -hmm. just a fucking asshole and who's got an attitude lemon lemon party party after lemon party with you know and by the way wasn't invited i'm just crashing these things you know what i mean so i i don't want to be that person i don't want to you know the biggest saying for addiction you know whether it be booze (coughs) or drugs uh bless you what is that a thank you okay so the biggest, the biggest saying was that I always took to heart and in my head was addicts will say, someone will ask them, so why did you quit? So what, they'll always say, I, I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired, right? So with boozers, you wake up every morning, you feel like shit, but you play it off. Like, oh, I feel fine. I'm going to make breakfast and you got a little shake going or whatever, or drug, you know, heroin addicts or meth, methamphetamines, anything, you know, or even cigarettes, uh, even cannabis, weed, cannabis. I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. And that's usually like the end, uh, the the bottom of, you know, where you're just like, I can't do this anymore. I'm just going to do it. I'm going to do it with an open heart, an open mind. I'm going to, I'm going to give myself, you know, uh, I'm going to pat myself on the back when I do it good. And I'm going to, but I'm not going to kill myself and beat myself up if I fuck up. Right. So I think that's, you know, I think that's a healthy, I think it's healthy. You know, I think it's a healthy. Brain. And I don't think, I don't think you and I have, spoke about that statement yet have we Mm -mm. no so that's funny that you said that because i can tell you wholeheartedly and honestly for the last you know month or two um maybe even a little bit longer i have been not in those words that's a really eloquent way of saying it i think Mm -hmm. um in a very like no bullshit way of saying it but but i am sick and tired of being sick and tired i want to feel a clear brain i want to be alert i want to be fit i want to be healthy one because i'm i'm at that age now where when shit hurts in your chest you're like is that a muscle mm-hmm. or yep. or oh yeah you know this is that i'm at that age where i'm now starting to feel for lumps and bumps mm-hmm. and i'm 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 at that age most importantly where I have spent a majority of my life kicking my own ass. I just want to live in bliss for the next fucking chapter of my life. Mm -hmm. And I think I need to, I think I need to, to jag this stuff in soon, but Hey man, I support you, whatever, whatever your choice is, man. And you know that like, you know, whatever it is, it's like you, you know, you, you do it, but do it, you know, gracefully and, and, uh, I, I do, man. It's like, you know, you're a great dude. You know, we all have our, we all have our demons, man. We all have them. I have them. You have them. My wife has them. Like everyone, we all have this stuff in our head and our subconscious that sometimes creeps to the front 
and then it triggers some kind of reaction that you didn't want or didn't expect, uh, which of course goes in hand in hand with, you know, using substances and stuff and self-medicating, so to speak. Right. Um, Oh, I wanted to say this. I'm really excited about this. I haven't seen my wife perform in a stand-up uh, situation in, well, she hasn't done it in years. And she's performing tomorrow night. I'm going to go see. I'm pretty excited. I remember seeing her post about that. And that is exciting. And I know. She, has, she hasn't. How she feel? Like, I love, I loved when I did stand-up. And I, yeah. the day before, though, the day before, fucked with my brain. I had to stay busy. Um, how she feel? Well, the funniest part about her is that uh, she doesn't plan it, and she doesn't get yeah. a little crazed until about an hour before we're leaving to go to it. And I'm always wondering, like, how the fuck? How do you do that? Like, but she'll just like on the car ride there go, okay, I know what I'm going to talk about, and I'm, and it's it's kind of not the story. This is what I know about her. It's kind of not the story. It's the way she tells it. You know, she's very animated. You know, she's hilarious. Oh, yeah. She's very animated. So that I didn't the, know she yeah. was into comedy. Not many people do, Wayne. Not many people wow. do. But I'll tell you, she yeah. she's pretty good. <laughs> she's she's pretty a good fun. She's funny. Is she funny? I just yeah. I never. I mean, I've sometimes I've chuckled at her jokes, but I didn't think like you know when you think of Mo Collins, you don't think of comedy. You think of yeah. of 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 serious and and yes, yeah. Well, that's yeah. Yeah. part of the learning curve. And it was for me too. I only knew her about the drama, you know, yeah. and now I know her about different drama. Well, she did that. She did that soap opera for years, Mad mm -hmm. TV, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I must just spit my water. Ah, yeah. Oh my it's god, it's a soap opera now. Anyways, uh, <laughs> moving on, or as as Mo would say, I digress. Um, yeah. Well, I'm I'm super. Super excited that she gets to stand on stage, and 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 I'm sure the audience is excited to see her in 3D because it's been a while. Look, 20 minutes is a long time to stand up there, man. Yeah, it's a long time, yeah. especially if shit ain't going right. Ooh, hoo, hoo. yeah, I loved it. Yeah. I fucking thrived at stand up, man. I, I I just it it took me to a different place. It was like the stuff I'm doing in social media now is it's my version of it, you know, and it, it, it's just like you with theater and, and yeah. Mo with comedy. And I will take everything I said back your wife and our viewers know <laughs> your wife is a comedy icon yes, and a legend is. in the world of comedy, yes. not just Hoboken, New Jersey, yeah. like the world knows her. She is one of the most imitated um, characters on the internet. You yeah. Know, no, she, yeah, she is. Or Stuart's mom. She's brilliant. She is. She's yeah. brilliant. I'll, so, I'll never take. I'll never say she isn't. She's fucking brilliant. She